Today, we're going to be painting on these wooden slices. This is gonna get wild because we are making 30 ornaments today. And the cool thing at the end of this video, if you see any that you like, they are all for sale at mirabiler.com. So I'm gonna open this up. I forget what I paid for it, but I can put the price up on the screen. It was really affordable and there are 45 slices of wood in here. <laughs> oh, these are cute. I have some larger ones though and I feel like we should use the larger ones. We can paint on so many different sizes today. It's amazing, really. I know you can't see in this creepy bag, but it is packed full of ornaments. Crusty water jars at the ready. nasty spray bottle at the ready. I'm gonna start with these four and we're going to do similar paintings for them. So I just wanna say one thing before I start. When you paint on wood slices, they do sometimes crack. So this is what I'm talking about. It is fairly minimal and I think it's beautiful because it's just a part of nature. We're painting on wood and sometimes it cracks. <laughs> I'm gonna do a layer of burnt sienna on all of these. Okay, they are ready. Let's begin. Okay, so I am going to begin these ornaments with something called batching. And this is typically a term that I actually hear in the ceramics world. Like my friend batches mugs or my friend makes a batch of, I don't know, like paint palettes or something like that. So. Basically what it is, is I am making six similar ornaments right here and I'm going to paint them all at once. You're gonna see this a couple times throughout this video because I am batching a couple things and then there are a couple ornaments that are like standalone things, very unique from the rest. But these first ornaments, let me tell you a little bit about them. I did a painting when I first had my babies and it was this cloud with a rainbow behind it. And it was kind of to symbolize like rainbow babies because I did miscarry a couple times before I had my twins. And I just thought it was so cool that after facing multiple losses, I was able to have two babies. And that was such a cool surprise. Twins do run in my family. So like, I don't know, that was just really sweet and such a blessing to find out I was having them. So I did this painting and I named it Elated. And I ended up selling prints of it and I kept the original painting for sentimental reasons, you know, but the prints sold out super fast, like within, I don't know, less than a week or something like that. So I decided to do ornaments of that because for me, it has such a special meaning and I feel like, yeah, for you folks, these are very cheerful looking ornaments and you know, maybe you've been through loss yourself. I don't know, but yeah, I just thought it would be really fun to bring that painting back, but on Christmas ornaments. So I did six of them and I tried to keep the color scheme pretty similar to the original painting, which I can put it up on screen here so you can see what I'm talking about if you didn't see that video. But yeah, ah. <sighs> It was just such a blessing to have twins after going through so many hard times. And painting these ornaments is just such a beautiful reminder that other people are such a big blessing in our lives. And our two little babies really just brightened up our world. They're six months old now. Well, they will be six months old, like by the time this video goes up. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this and I hope you like all the cute, little faces that each cloud is going to have because I did paint these in a batch, like six ornaments at once, but each ornament is unique and has its own personality and flair to it. And I think that's my favorite part about this particular set of ornaments is all the cute little faces.
Also, just a side note, this is a super long video and I am going to save some of the best pieces or at least like my favorite pieces for last. So if you get overwhelmed with the length of this, at least watch the end of the video, please. Because there are five ornaments that, ah, yeah, I'm just gonna hint at that, but let's not get carried away. I hope you like these ones though. Alrighty, I am doing some underpaintings with these ornaments right here. I'm just using burnt sienna like I do on most of my canvases. And now I'm going in and guess what? We are batching again with five ornaments. These ones are actually not as similar as the last ones were. So it's not exactly like a set or anything, but I really wanted to capture warmer days to hang on a cozy tree with some beautiful landscapes. And I'm gonna play around with styles on these ones. So some of them will have the underpainting show through, whereas others will not. I just thought, you know, if I'm doing five similar paintings, I'm gonna experiment, I'm gonna mess around and I'm gonna have fun with this. So yeah, the first couple ornaments I did, there's like a little halo of underpainting around the clouds and uh, it just added such warmth to the painting. And I kind of wanted to do that for all of them, but then I decided, yeah, this is a great opportunity to experiment. So yeah, you'll see different types of skies and I got rid of the clouds on some of them just kind of rolled with whatever I felt like doing, honestly. <laughs> These ones were such a joy to create because it kind of reminds me of a painting series that I am working on. It's like the tension between autumn and summer. I haven't finished the series yet, but I have been working on it off camera. Hopefully I can give you folks an update on that series soon. But for now, you get these little ornaments and ah, I really, really enjoyed these. I incorporated some plants that I saw out in Colorado. So if you're familiar with my Silverthorn series, it also kind of ties in that style. And I did not use reference photos for these. I just kind of went with what was in my head. <laughs> Hope you like them. We cannot have an ornament video without a super festive blubble fly. So I have this giant ornament here and it was a wonky shape and I thought it would be fun for a wonky, whimsical blubble fly. And you know what? I've been getting a lot of comments about these blubble flies lately asking how it is spelled. It is B L. U-B-B-L-E-F-L-Y. Yes, blubble, not bubble. <laughs> this is actually a character that you folks named on my channel years ago. I, it was probably about five years ago now. So this is an older character and it's been evolving with us over the years. I really, really love these little guys. They're so fun to make and they all have their own personalities. I'm actually coming out with a lot of different blubble fly stickers in 2023, so keep an eye out. But yeah, I thought this one was really fun and festive for the holidays. And it's gonna hint at some things that are coming later in this video too. So keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, so I lost the footage for these ones. So here's three wildflower ornaments. Enjoy. It's a couple days later and I am still working on these ornaments. So I have these smaller ones here. They're probably about two and a half, three inches, something like that. We're gonna do more blubble flies because the last one I did, it was just so fun. I wanna do it again. <laughs> I crustified this brush. 
annoying. I'm gonna do a bunch of fun colors. We're gonna put snow in the backgrounds. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. Just gonna roll with what we have here. I'm not even gonna do underpaintings on these ones because they're more like illustrative. Let's add some more paint. Or blubble flies coming at ya. Let's do an orange one, like an orangey pink color. Gonna get all the backgrounds done first. This actually looks kind of purple. I wanna do more blubble flies than this. Hold on, I'm inspired now. <laughs> Seven of them. <laughs> Seven. This is gonna be fun. Trying to make this like a rainbow. We'll see how it goes. So I think for these ones, I want to do like little creamy, snowy looking blubble flies. I'll show you what I mean. But like since it's winter, I don't know how to explain it to you, but I'll, I will show you on a canvas. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. These are the ones that I like saw in my head and I knew I wanted to make these. To do like a creamy off-white. Okay, I'm going to work on these three and then we're gonna do these ones because they're not all gonna be like the same. Okay, so we need to do the wings and I want them to be yellow. This wing is gonna come down here like this. Okay, so I want this to feel magical. So earlier I did that giant blubble fly and then yeah, I got carried away and you already heard me brainstorm all these different background colors and everything for these blubble flies. But man, after I did that one blubble fly on that giant wonky shaped piece of wood, I just couldn't get them off my mind. I had to do more ornaments and I'm so glad I did because these ones just hold a special place in my heart. I really, really enjoyed the process of creating these. And honestly, that goes for all of the ornaments in this video. The process was so enjoyable and it was a great way to unwind, take my mind off of things and just be festive for the season. If you watched my most recent studio vlog, my oven had an electrical fire and like nothing was cooking yet. It was very scary. And these ornaments, painting them, really helped me take my mind off of things after that. And so this was a much needed therapeutic painting session. I really love this blubble fly with the rainbow background. It makes me want candy for some reason. So question of the day, what is your favorite kind of candy? I think mine would be Reese's Fast Breaks or Take Five Candy Bars. So not all of these blubble flies are festive. I decided to do two botanical blubble flies as well because the blues and the greens were just really speaking to me and I needed some planty things up in this video, so. Yeah, we have some like botanical blubble flies. I don't know. They're just floating in some plants and it's cute. One thing I really appreciate about painting on wood is no ornament is the same. They're all different shapes, different thicknesses, some have a lot of bark around the edges, whereas others are peeling. And I just think it's such a beautiful way to display 
unique artwork on your Christmas tree? Another thing I want to say about these is they do crack. So if you paint on them and you put a lot of water in your paint, they are more prone to cracking or just changes in temperature or just painting on them, you know, even with not a lot of water. They will sometimes crack, but I think it's okay. It's beautiful, it's to be expected. And yes, some of my ornaments did crack after this video and after I photographed them for my shop but they never crack like all the way through. It's just a cute little crack. So that's all right. I hope you enjoyed these blubble fly ones and I hope they put a smile on your face since they're so filled with cheer. You know what? Let's change gears a little bit. We just did a lot of illustrative, cartoony Christmas ornaments. So we're gonna change up the style a little bit, switch up the pace. And you know, I love painting water, ocean scenes. I love painting skies. So let's capture that on two ornaments. I did these grayish blue skies, like a gloomier day or just more muted colors. And then the bottom of the ornament is this deep blue ocean water. Ah, so beautiful. Makes me miss summer already, but that is the joy of hanging these on your Christmas tree. You can look forward to different seasons, have reminders of that, and be excited for what's to come once the holidays pass. More changes in seasons and flowers blooming, all the good stuff. What's your favorite season? Mine is definitely summer. <laughs> I love summer. It's so warm and nice. Let's change up the pace again and hop back into illustrative styles. You know me, I'm a style hopper. If you don't have a style either, or you feel like you're all over the place, that's okay. And if you do have a style, that's also okay. As long as you're just enjoying creating, I think that's the awesome thing. So I'm painting a rabbit wearing clothes. If you've been watching my channel, you probably got a nice sneak peek at this one. But I hope you like it. This goes with my animals and clothing series. So we needed to do an ornament. Also, I really want its sweater. It's so cute. I wish I had it. <laughs> okay. I am painting the final ornaments as you saw with this dark navy-ish color. I kind of want to do a couple moody ornaments. My third paint palette of the video. The reason why I want to do some moody ornaments is because I feel like all the other ornaments were super bright and I think a couple darker ornaments would be nice. And some of the like design ideas that I have would look better on a darker background than super light ones. So that's what we're doing. So I know 30 ornaments is a lot to do in one video. So I want to give a little bit of background on like why I'm doing this, what inspired this and everything like that, because this isn't like some rushed thing. So last year, well, the last two years, actually I, painted Christmas ornaments and I sold them in my shop because one of the motivations behind it is to give people original paintings for like way cheaper than a normal painting on a canvas would cost. And it's a cool thing to like hang on your tree or if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can just hang it on your wall. So yeah, I did this the last two years but Christmas is my most favorite holiday of the year. I love it. This time of year makes me so happy. And 
I don't know, it's just something I really look forward to. And so, I don't know, maybe like nine months ago or something, I thought, you know, it would be so fun to do like a ton, like a massive amount of Christmas ornaments this year. I've always wanted to do that. And back then in my head, I was like, I'm gonna do 50 to 100 ornaments. Now that the time is here, I have decided 30 is enough. <laughs> and if I'm still in the mood to do it, after this video comes out, I'll do more. I already know I'm gonna do more because I'm gonna do some with my babies, like handprints and stuff, but I'm not gonna show those on camera. Anyway, let's continue painting. I have some fun ideas. I also have my hot chocolate. The whipped cream has completely melted, but I put sprinkles on top too because I like colorful, happy looking drinks. I am going to paint some moths on these ornaments. I literally like cannot wait. This, <laughs> the thought of this makes me so happy. They're gonna be like dark, moody looking things. So some of these moths are inspired by my autumn moth sort of sticker in my shop. I also have an autumn moth washi tape. So yeah, I decided to do some moths with that in mind. And these were my favorite ornaments of the entire video. The moths unfortunately did crack a little bit, but that's okay. I think it looked cute the way they cracked. You can see the B-roll footage at the end if you want to see the little cracks in them. But yeah, that'll just show you what the cracking looks like. And I, I think it's cool. It's like a really natural, see, cool looking thing. Well, those are all my Christmas ornaments. There were 30 total. And I have to say, at the end of all of this, I don't remember how long I spent on this. This has been an ongoing project, a long-term project. I feel sad to be done with these ornaments. Like, I think I might do another small batch later. I don't know. This is just like, do you ever find something you genuinely really enjoy doing and you just wanna keep doing it again and again? I feel like every year that is Christmas ornaments for me. And it's probably because this is my favorite holiday and I just get so pumped for Christmas. I mean, look behind me. We have like Christmassy things. Anyway, I don't wanna ramble, but if you would like a Christmas ornament of your own, you can go to mirabyler.com and get one for yourself. I will link my shop in the video description. So yeah, if you want one, click that link. Last year and the year before that, when I did this, they sold out extremely fast, but I've never done 30 ornaments. I usually do like six of them or something. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I do just wanna warn you, they will probably go fast. Thank you so much for just hanging out with me today and painting so many things. I will see you tomorrow in another video because guess what? Every day this weekend, I am doing a video. So you can hang out, create, binge some videos with me, and it's gonna be a wonderful time. Have a beautiful day, bye.